is Christina again. I am here for my final BEA book haul, and I bet you guys are all so glad you won't have to see this face every single day anymore. Although really, if you're like, why do I have to see your face every day? You could probably just stop watching the videos. So actually, I regret nothing. Nothing at all. So I have the last of my books here for you, and they come from Achette Book Group and Scholastic and then the rest of them are just they were one or one-offs for the most part there might be one that has two I don't really know I think they're one-offs though so I'm gonna start with Ashet. first off from their little brown imprint The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black which the blurb actually sounds really interesting because apparently one morning after a perfectly ordinary party Tana wakes up surrounded by corpses and right there, I am curious to find out what happens in this book. That's all it really took. So, I'm hoping this is awesome. The early reviews I've been seeing seem like it's creepy and fun. So, excited for that. And then from Red Hook, The Twins by Saskia Sargensen. I really don't know much about this. There's not much of a blurb on it. So, I don't... All it says is an astonishing novel about the bond between twins and the secrets we all carry with us. And the tagline says they were inseparable until an innocent mistake tore them apart. All I know is that I'm kind of creeped out by this cover, even though it's all like happy and sunshiny. So I don't know, but uh, Ellen, who works at Orbit, told me that it was good. So I am willing to give it a try. Uh, another one that I don't really know anything about. This one is an Orbit title. I tend to really like Orbit titles. That's why I have three is Shaman by Kim Stanley Robinson. And all I know is that she got a lot of praise for her book 2312 that came out last year. I didn't request it because it was so long. Uh, but this really doesn't tell me anything about what the book is about. It says, the powerful, thrilling, and heartbreaking story of one young man's journey into adulthood and an awe-inspiring vision of how he lived 30,000 years ago. So I guess it's about the past. That's all I've got for you. All right, also from Orbit, Charming by Elliot James. And this one, Fairy Tales, and he's apparently not your average Prince Charming, which is good because your average Prince Charming is really boring. So, I'm hoping that will be hilarious. I read the first like page and it was pretty funny, so. I hope that continues. And then the one that I'm most excited about from Machette, Parasite by Mira Grant, who in my mind can do no wrong and I really hope that's borne out because the first two books in the News Flush trilogy are on the top of my favorite books list forever. They are just so, so incredibly good and if you hated them, I don't know if we can be friends. Or we can, but I just, you need to not tell me why you hate them, because they mean a lot to me. The third one is also very good, but not quite as perfect as the other two. Oh, Percy, you want to come? Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Oh, don't hide. Don't hide. Come and hang out with your mom. Yes, you're a good baby. So this is my cat. Cat. All right, moving into Scholastic titles. I can't hold it up as close, but this one isn't pretty anyway. Gorgeous by Paul Rednick. This actually just came out, so I'm not, I guess they had arcs left over. Must be why they were giving them away. Uh, but this one was blurred by Meg Cabot, so apparently it must be really good. And it's about a girl whose mom was really fat and she dies in their trailer park and has to be like lifted out and... I guess some guy is like, I'll make you three dresses and you'll be the prettiest woman in the world. And that comes true. And I'm guessing that doesn't end up as good as one might think. And then also from Scholastic, Inhuman by Cat Falls. This will be out in October. It's some sort of dystopian, post-apocalyptic something or other about like there's a wall and on the other side there are people. What do they call it? Um... The feral zone. People have gone crazy and they are bloodthirsty savages. Yeah, it sounds pretty normal, but I couldn't resist picking it up since it was here. 
And I hope you guys have seen enough of Percy's face because he makes this difficult. There you go. And then finally from Scholastic, Invasion by Walter Dean Myers, which I missed before, but is apparently actually a prequel to Fallen Angels and Sunrise over Fallujah, which I haven't read. These are set in World War II, or at least this one is set in World War II. And I know that April of Good Books and Good Wine is a huge, huge Walter Dean Myers fan, which is why I picked this up, because I often agree with April, and so I had to at least try it since it was there. So entering into the single publisher. So uh, first up from Cork Books, Countdown City by Ben H. Winters. I read the first, this is a sequel. I read the first book last year and let's see, what was that one called? The Last Policeman and it's about, it's pre-apocalyptic so there's a, an asteroid coming that's going to collide with Earth and end the world and everyone knows the world is ending and so, so society like falls apart and it's kind of darkly comic. And then another sequel, By Referral Only by Lila Payne. And I actually got this the day before BEA because I had lunch with the author and some other people. And since I was actually her first Amazon review uh, for her new adult series, it's a guilty pleasure kind of thing. Not that I feel guilty about it, but you know, like very uh, typical romance plot lines. But it was fun to read. And a nice quick read. It can be a nice palette cleanser, you know, between other things. So she gave me a copy of her book too. Another sequel, Shadowlark by Megan Spooner. It was very nice and awesome. And uh, Skylark is a sort of dystopian fantasy blend. And it's got this really unique and interesting portrayal of magic that I loved. All right, Tandem by Anna Jarzab. This is one of the ones that was at the Editor Buzz panel, and the editors made the books that they edited sound really terrible. So this one, she managed to play up the love triangle angle rather than the parallel universes angle. So I'm hoping it's better than she said. I liked Anna Jarzab's The Opposite of Hallelujah quite a bit. So I'm still hopeful if going in with slightly lowered expectations, which really can only be a good thing. And then, oh, that was Delacorte Press, which is part of Random House. Oops, I have another Random House book. Shadow Lark was Candlewick. Or no, 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 no. Sorry, it's Carol wrote a lab, which is part of Lerner. And this one is from Algonquin, which and it's called If You Could Be Mine by Sarah Barazan. And this one is set in Iran. And it's two girls who fall in love, but they're not allowed to because of rules. And I'll read anything that's marketed LGBT, really. And I'll make my best friend read it when I'm done, probably. <laughs> and from Flux, The Cutting Room Floor by Don Claire, which sounds super creepy. Listen to this. Uh, apparently a girl is outed and dumped at school at the same time, becomes a social outcast. So she asks her friend Desmond Brandt for help. What Riley doesn't know is that Des's unrequited love for her has driven him to secretly direct her life like one of his homemade movies. By blackmailing her friends and manipulating her actions, he hopes to make Riley love him. But when Des's schemes go too far, his web of lies threatens to destroy both of their lives. Holy crap, that sounds terrifying. But I am also intrigued. The Color of Rain by Corey McCarthy, which was, when the cover reveal came out, it was posted as prostitutes in space. So there was a really short line and I was really curious. So this happened and I, I'm hoping it's hilarious like the Heart of Gold episode of Firefly. And then, and that is from some small publisher, as is this, Storm Watcher by Maria V. Snyder. And I have liked the Maria V. Snyder books I've read a lot. So I couldn't resist this. And it's apparently about a boy who trains rescue dogs, which is interesting. Puppies! Speaking of puppies, there goes a cat. And finally, another Delacorte Press title from Random House, Brandon Sanderson's Steelheart, which I've managed to mostly flatten. Thank you. This is what the bard is good for. And all I have to say is this is fucking Brandon Sanderson, so I'm pretty convinced it will be amazing. You really don't need to know anything other than the fact that it's Brandon Sanderson. All right, guys, that is it for me with BEA. I'll be back on Saturday with another vlog of a regular book haul. Bye!